You don't think I have a cookie right under there? You don't think I have a cookie right under my camera? I do have a cookie right under my camera. You think I don't have a cookie? I got a cookie! I'm in a cookie because I'm fat! Everybody is doing. King thing back here. So, oftentimes, for those who have watched me over the course of the end of last football season into the off season, I've talked about the Eagles and I've even criticized them, which to many, they didn't like. I got some big ears. I got big Dumbo ears. I can look like I can fly away with these things. Why ain't anybody tell me I got big ears? They're huge. They're humongous. You dingbats. I got dingbat ears. Man, anyways. Let's talk about the story at hand, alright? Now, do you know who Mike Lombardi is? For those who don't, he's a former NFL executive. He worked for many teams, including the Eagles. He's always been on the NFL Network and all these places like that. I can't stop looking at my ears. They're humongous. They're gargantuan. It's preposterous. They're huge. They flop around. Another reason why I'm King Ding back. My ears. So anyways, Lombardi, he comes out and he trashes. I mean, he trashes Doug Peterson. He trashes him. Okay? He, he rips him. He says things that... Even I wouldn't say. I mean, they're meaner than anything I would say. And here's what he says. Here's what he says. Now, everybody knows Doug Peterson isn't a head coach. He might be less qualified to coach a team than anyone I've ever seen in my 30-plus years in the NFL. That's brutal. Peterson was barely a coordinator before he became a head coach. My gosh, that's brutal. Okay, that's that's brutal. So here's what Peterson said when they asked him about it, right? And of course, the poor guy who feels bad for him has to respond to this. He says, well, you know, um, geez, uh, golly cheapers, uh, I haven't seen the article, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, you know, what you're talking about. And uh, I don't pay attention to that. I mean, listen, uh, you know, uh, geez, I'm confident in uh, what would I do in uh, golly jeepers. He's not in the building now. I coach our coaches and coach our players. I think if you ask any of them or their assistant coaches, I think they would say something and uh, something a little different. Uh, geez, uh, I haven't read the article because Philly's 500 floppy ears are in the way, so I can't respond to it. So... That's what Doug said in response. Now, I have two thoughts about it. First thought is, we're less than a week before the start of the season. So it's like, Michael Barr, you want to go after our coaches? Boom, to the moon, you know what I mean? But on the other hand, it's like, I kind of know what he's saying. I kind of understand. Now, he's saying it really mean and really nastily, if that's a word. But I kind of understand the concerns about Doug Peterson, because I have many of them. I mean, my biggest concern going into this season right now is Doug Peterson. I don't know what to expect from him. I don't know. I don't understand the reasoning the Eagles hired him. Um, it's very, some people have a lot of questions about that and want to know the real reason why they hired him. Uh, he wasn't a coach that was being considered anywhere else. He didn't call his own plays, really. Even though he said he did a couple times, it really didn't call plays. It was Andy Reid. So I do have my concerns, but here's how I see it. We're less than a week before the start of the season. There's no reason at this point to worry about that. We got to hope that Doug has a great year. We got to hope that he's the real deal as a coach and that he goes out and he proves his dingbat wrong. I mean, that's what we have to hope. And if he does that, he'll be fine. Now, I do have my concerns. I have my concerns about his play calling and all those things. But look, the Eagles gave him another year. So I wiped the slate clean. I'm giving him a fair chance. I'm going to back him up. And I'm assuming he's going to prove this dingbat wrong. And he's going to come out and he's going to whip up on the Redskins on Sunday. And that's what I hope. But, you know, this is a brutal thing to say. And when you hear it come from other NFL people, it does make you wonder who else thinks that and who else says it. So, interesting article, pretty mean thing to say, as far as I'm concerned, but what are you going to do? With that said, you know, with that said, I will be releasing my NFC East predictions soon. I have all my predictions, all my Super Bowl stuff all set. 
I have to just upload the video. So I have a lot of videos to actually upload. I'm behind, so I'll try to do that as soon as I can and catch up before Thursday. But with that said, I'm going to take the Dumbo Express, fly around the world making kids and my children sandwiches and lunch before they knock me the hell out. With that, take care. I'll talk to you later. And don't be a big-eared dingbat like me.